All right, YouTube, it's Jumbo for Jumbo TV. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Steam Controller. It's been out for a few weeks now. I got it before I went on holiday for my birthday with some vouchers I got. I'm going to take you through a wee unboxing of it, show you what's in the box, what the controller looks like up close, or the buttons and things like that. And I'm going to have a wee recap of how I've found it the last few weeks, some of the games I've played and some of the, the issues that I've been having with it. So I hope you enjoy it. Take you through the unboxing. Right, so this is an unboxing. It comes in quite a cool box, quite like a premium feeling product, apart from me where I peeled the label off and tore the box. So it comes in a slip case. What I really like about the slip case is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's like the breakdown of the controller and all the components inside. I should really like split it apart, but I don't want to because I like the slip case, but you can see the, how, how the controller's made up inside there. So I'll just put that to the side. So it comes like that. I mean, it does have a nice, like, the Steam logo and things like that. Steam logo's in there as well. So that's what it looks like when you get it. Controllers like that. It's really nice, so it's got the two OWL, as people are saying, touchpads. The home button, which is kind of Microsoft and Sony have all done that. The two back and start buttons, I think they are. One joystick, standard Xbox face buttons. Some nice shoulder buttons. So then ones, and also these ones, which are analog can't remember what you call them, but you, obviously you can do that and that'll zoom in and then you can do that click and that would fire. And it's also got these which are really nice paddles. I really like them, they're like shift paddles. I think they're going to be really good for uh, racing games where you'll be able to shift and go up and down gears. The controller also has apparently like a gyroscope and an accelerometer, which I don't think there's any games that use them just now, but that would be good for the driving games where you can steer it and then shift up and shift down. So that's the controller there. I will show you, I've put the batteries in because I've always said I'd be playing it, but the way the batteries go in I think is really cool. It's these wee, the wee um, what I've just turned it on, these wee controllers here, where you do that and the battery fires out, you put it back in and it squeeze back in, which I think is a really cool, cool feature on it. What else you get in the box? I'll just put the controller to the side. You get your USB dongle for connecting it to your PC. Underneath this, you get, oh, that's my receipt from when I bought it. Some of the plastic as well. You get this thing here, which is, I don't know the exact point in this, but you can plug your dongle into it like that, and then there's a cable that comes with it as well, so that you can plug it into your PC. I don't know the exact point in that, other than putting that in your PC. I mean, it might look cool if you had that on a desk as a wee aerial. Not very sure, but it's a nice feature as well. Then also you get your Steam Controller product guide and your quick start guide to tell you how to hook it up. Obviously because it's the Steam Controller and it's for the Steam machines and things like that, it's ideally used for Steam OS, which is quite good that way. So that's you seen the box, the opening, I mean it's quite nice. The controller, I think it's got a nice feel to it. That's it. Now I'm going to take you through what I think of it and my wee feelings over having it for the past few weeks. Right, so my thoughts on the Steam Controller, I quite like the way it feels. A lot of people online have been saying it feels cheap. I don't know if it does, I mean it does have that shiny pla plastic on the front, but I think it's it's got a good weight to it. And I've got quite big hands as well, so I'm able to, to grip it quite well and reach all of the buttons quite easily. So the, the pads I think are quite good that way. I really like the paddle buttons on the back. They're a really nice addition to the to the game. I downloaded um, Mirror's Edge, which is a kind of parkour game, and they're really good for the jumping and grabbing and things like that on one of the mappings. The haptic feedback is another great thing with it as well. So wherever your thumb is, there's a slight vibration in the pad to tell you where your thumb is. It's just, instead of the joystick, obviously if you're playing with a joystick, it's always going to go back to the middle. There's with your thumb, it's not really going to do that, so it allows you to see that. I'm quite liking it. It, 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 it is a steep learning curve though, I am having a bit of trouble. One thing that I usually do with uh, first person shooter games is I always invert the Y control, so ups, down and downs up. But I find that really difficult to work with the Steam controller. I, a lot of time I'm looking at the sky or I'm looking at the ground like that. So what I've done is I've actually gone back and it's now just standard, so ups, up and downs, down on it. I quite like it that way. One of the things I'm not happy about it with is a lot of the control schemes for the games aren't very good. Some of Valve's own games, like Portal, I've got Portal 1, 
it doesn't have an official control scheme for it, so you've got you're kind of left with the, the default mouse, as it, it calls it, precision mouse keyboard setting, which isn't too good. I mean, you can. It is meant for modding, so you can develop your own uh, mappings to it. I might have a go at that and see how we get on, but I'd like at least for Valve's own games to have their own defined controller mappings for it. But other than that, it does have a lot of good potential on it. A bit annoying on my controller. It's got a wee. It looks like a wee blemish in the controller on there. It's me, I'm just a perfectionist, but... Other than that, it is quite good. It's got a nice feel to it. I really like the size of it. But I'm hoping it's going to do well. I've not had a try it on the strategy games yet. I've mostly played first-person shooters and some driving games with it, which seem to work really well. But I'm go I've got Dawn of War 2. I'm going to have a go with that, because that is like your proper keyboard-mouse strategy games like that. I've never worked good with a controller, so I'll see how it goes with that. But... I would maybe, I don't think I would rush out and buy one if you've not got one at the moment until the kind of full potential of it's realised and more people have developed kind of control schemes for it. I'm not one for customisation, I mean the, the most I'll ever do is invert the Y axis. But I'll, I'll need to have a go at trying to develop my own control schemes for it. But other than that, I would say leave it for a wee while. Anyway, that's it. John Bo reviewing the Steam controller for John Bo TV. See you later YouTube! Da -la 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 -la. Right, YouTube, it's Jumbo for. Start again, so I'm not booting in the background.